are the following structure chiral as shown. When placed in a solution at 298 Kelvin, which structure will show an optical rotation? Explain. So the first thing that we need to do is we have to see that these are chairs, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw them a cyclohexane. So let me start by drawing a cyclohexane like this. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the substituents and I am going to see whether they're up or down. If a substituent is up, then I'm going to draw a wedge line. And if substituent is down, I'm going to draw a dash line. Now, just to remind ourselves what is up and down in a chair. So actually this chair is the other way. So if I have a chair like this, this is up, down, up, down, up, down. So let me put up, down, up, down, up, and down. And the substituents will be, will be the opposite. So if this is up, then the partner going here will be down. So let's look here. Is this up or down? Well, this is up, so this must be down. And this would be down, so this is up. So let's draw it. And let's go ahead and number it. I'm going to number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I'm going to number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So my number 5 is down, which means it's on a dash. And my number six is up, which means it's on a wedge. And I'm going to do the same for B, C, and so on. So let's just go ahead and do that. There are also five and six. This is up. And this looks like it is up as well. So up and up. So let me draw both wedges. And let's do C. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four. And you can number any way you want, but this is how I'm numbering. This is up, and this is up. So that means wedge on four and a wedge on a six. Let's do D. This is again four and six. Four and six. This is down and this is up. So four is down, six is up, like that. We're almost there. Let's do E and then we will do F and then we will talk about chirality. So for E, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is down, this is up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three is down, so three is a methyl group on a wedge. And six is up, a methyl group on the wedge. Sorry, I meant to say dash here, wedge here. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is up, and this is up as well. So three and six are both up. So I'm going to make them both wedged. Next, what we have to do is we have to look and see if there are any chiral carbons and also look for the line of symmetry. When would the structure be chiral? So first we ask, are there any chiral carbons? A chiral carbon is a carbon that's attached to four different groups. So for example, if you take a look at this carbon, it's connected to a methyl group. It's also connected to a hydrogen. Going up, it's connected to carbon. Down is carbon, but we can see that going this way and this way is different because this way we go carbon, carbon, carbon. But this way, this carbon is connected to a methyl group, and here it is not. So this is a chiral carbon, so we could put asterisk on it. This carbon is also chiral, it's the same as this one, it's connected to four different groups. 
let me just go ahead and erase this hydrogen so it's easier for us to see next if we have chiral carbons we ask ourselves is there a line of symmetry that cuts the molecule in half to make two identical halves if there is the compound is called a meso compound and it is a chiral if it is not then the compound the molecule is chiral so is there a line of symmetry that cuts this molecule in half and the answer is no because even if you would think of this line this is a wedge and this is a dash they're not the same so this compound must be chiral this molecule is a chiral molecule what about here it's the same as a but instead of having a wedge and a dash we have two wedges well in this case there is a line of symmetry if i go like this there is a line that cuts my molecule in two identical halves and so even though this molecule has chiral chiral carbons it is a chiral it is not chiral because it is a meso molecule it's a meso compound and the reason it's meso again is because yes there are two chiral carbons but there is a line of symmetry that cuts the molecule in half now let's look at c again these two carbons if we check they will be chiral now is there a molecule is there a line of symmetry here and the answer is yes in this case this line of symmetry is vertical now the line of symmetry could be vertical horizontal or diagonal so here it was like this and here it's vertical the two halves are identical so this must be a chiral as well what about here well here we have a wedge and a dash so there is no line of symmetry because these two halves cannot be the same so this molecule must be chiral what about for e and f first of all if you look at this carbon it is not a chiral center because it is connected to a metal group a hydrogen but going this way and this way will be the same furthermore there is a line of symmetry through the substituent so we could go a line of symmetry like this therefore this molecule will be a chiral not chiral same thing here there is a line of symmetry through the center like this therefore this molecule is a chiral now that we have identified chiral and a chiral pieces let's go ahead and see which of them has an optical rotation if a molecule is chiral then it is optically active optically active if a molecule is achiral it will be optically inactive so whenever i see my chiral molecules i will be optically active so a will show optical rotation b c we said is achiral d will show optical rotation and then e and f are also achiral so only a and d will show optical rotation since they are the only chiral molecules in the set of molecules this is maya alochi from transformation tutoring and i really hope that you found this video helpful